All right, what's up, Hall Squad? Welcome back. So, it's now finally time for recap time, baby. Yes, sirree. So, Zeph Fire actually recently just dropped this a couple weeks ago. And this is his Super Smash Brothers Brawl Part 2, y'all. Part 2 of his recap. I've actually reacted to Part 1. That was actually the first reaction of the year. I've actually reacted to it back in January. So, this one is going to be called Smash Brothers Subspace's Absolute Peak Part 2. So, I'm excited to get through this. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. I know it's going to be absolutely hilarious. Smash Bros. Ball is one of my favorite games of all time growing up. Played a hell of it on the Wii, so I'm excited to see this recap once again. Part 2, man. So, Hot Squad, it's now time for Seth Fire, baby. So, let's watch. Army getting fit, y'all ain't got nothing on me. You tell him, twin. Please don't say this, man. Hey, Fox, shoot that white girl. I'll give you a free Starbucks. Man, bet. You don't even like Starbucks, bro. What's going on? That's not like Cyrus. Wait, hold on, yo. This is on my V. <laughs> yep, Sheik. Who the hell is that? It don't matter. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And I know after watching all that, y'all gonna mm. be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> but in order to understand what's going on, we gotta take it all the way back to where we left off. Yeah. We got the greatest of all time linked with the blade and all, ready to get active. <laughs> Only for Smash to be like, and uh, Sarah. I'm not I'm finished. finished. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Nah, they blessing giving back to back goats? <laughs> Incredible. From the words of Shapali <laughs> Onale, I was not familiar with your game at all, my boy. <laughs> and Pete, my man's Yoshi, this man is zooted. I feel <laughs> high. My dog high as hell, just like Gojo moving like this. <laughs> and I ain't no way. But Link and Yoshi link up. <laughs> And they get the side question, which brings us to Kirby and one of the princesses. And we start this Kirby cutscene off, and for some reason, this man is sprinting. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> why are you running? The game don't even explain why he's running. He's scaring the hoes. Nah, the hoes scaring him. <laughs> <laughs> My dog already halfway oh, across the map. But all this should do is teach y'all a life lesson. Y'all should never leave a shorty alone. Because Damn. the moment he hit the jets, Bowser pulled up and hit TYB. Took you a bit. <laughs> and while the princess is on the floor cooked, look at Kirby, bruh. My dog don't care about no thotty fan. <laughs> But once Kirby dips, Bowser puts the princess on black just like he Bro thinks I'ma sit here and watch this and what let him hell? slide Nah buddy, you're weird right? But I got something for Bowser Just, just wait on me And now I'm better get into everybody's favorite cutscene So Peach gets ready to snipe Mario and Pit Only to get stopped by Link and Yoshi They pack her up with straight ease Mario looks up and he sees his girl getting hit with the Zendaya straight to me <laughs> And my man hit that That's my Peach <laughs> Say there's nobody is crazy. If any universe. <laughs> and oh, this God. man got to zoom in, bro. Peep the bird. My dog wasting all of his talents on a middle-aged white woman, bro. Get to the league. Uh, this man is really putting the fist up on Yoshi, bro. Ain't that your man's? I'm not even surprised at this point. He's been beating on Yoshi since Mario World. Someone yeah. get this fat nigga in check. But the yes. moment they go down, King DDD hits a world-class finesse. Yes. And he really hit this NPC bro yes. talking about some, oh, yeah, after this, look, we gonna be eating good. Eat? Man, what the? Yes. With Kirby saving them and destroying the whip. And then we got the whole group chasing down. Objection! Y'all ain't even catch that. Rewind the clip, bruh. I'ma play it right now and I want y'all to see what's wrong with this. So you telling me, Kirby gonna save two niggas he <laughs> just met faster than the shorty he spent the whole game with? <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. This nigga <laughs> just don't like women. And considering yeah, the fact all this man does is sit at home and eat, this nigga's literally an incel. <laughs> and y'all was really putting the fist up, coming into my comments, defending this nigga? <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas funny, man. <laughs> 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 After watching Chill. that intel, I gotta cleanse my palate with some milk. Hmm. 
Oh, Zeus, Zeus and Samus. Now I know you see her. <laughs> of course, right the music. Though. She's so bad. <laughs> now I'm not gonna hold y'all. She looked way better when I was younger. Cause when I rewatched the scene for this vid, I was really like. They got her right in the later Smash games, but we gotta deal with the glow down for now. She gets the side question, and this next pull up is just oh, disrespectful. Not gonna lie, yeah, Zeus and Samus, yeah, um, I, I had a uh, viewing crush on her, but yeah, <laughs> I forgot he actually mentioned that. Because that glow, that glow down was crazy, and bro, I'm glad they glowed her up in um, the, the, um, the latest ones. Really introduced the second most popular character in this roster by getting tortured. Like, look at my boy, free my mans. And this cutscene really just confirms whoever directed this segment of the game did not like Pikachu. Yeah. Because once he gets his name drop, the director was like, All right, y'all good? <laughs> and then he started torturing that little nigga again. Got him screaming for his life. Listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> and just to confirm this game don't like Pikachu They gave him the worst segment in the entire game Like bro who designed yes. this bro Whenever I get to this part of the game I just start speaking It's so bad <laughs> But after you play through that horrible segment no, We get that? to the suit And yeah. nah that's really crazy They had the Ops outfit posted up like it's the Mona Lisa Moving like the Penguin in Arkham What's good with y'all niggas? <laughs> How'd y'all let your fit get dragged like this? Damn It smells like a new car in here. Yes. I know after that pull up, she was feeling ecstatic. Yeah. Lit, even. Look at how she's walking around this bit. You do not own this place, buddy. <laughs> they just had your outfit licked in full display. Yes. Man, someone gotta humble her real quick, fam. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ripley. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's twin! My boy Ridley fresh out of Crash Out University at Atlanta GA. Cause he's out here doing Sam is the worst. Peep out, we cocked his shit back! Packing her like a LeBron dunk. He said, give me those. <laughs> Started dragging her like some leaves. I'm like, no, oh, please, she's already dead. dead. And while all this is happening, Pikachu's just on the floor, gazing. Probably talking about some Pika Pika. Stupid ass. But he saves her and we get this hard as hell boss fight. And I'm telling y'all right now, if this was not a game, really should not have lost this fight. You got Samus at 2 HP. Every time she's closing her eyes, she's seeing glimpses of 2 man and Pikachu. No, the no. same nigga that lost to Snivy. I've covered a lot of weak duos on this channel. This gotta be one of the worst. They would have got smoked. But Samus and Pikachu make it outside and they get to chasing down the rest of the bots. And that is where we get this. Yeah, Captain um, Omar. Yeah. Now, I ain't never played Pikmin in my life, but I do not have to. I played the first one on GameCube, only, only played the first one on GameCube, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Play even two seconds of that sorry ass game <laughs> to tell y'all that he ain't nothing. And this man really rolled up a hundred niggas deep, and you lost? I'm gonna yes. keep it real with you, Chief. Flip yourself over three times. Give yourself the Gordon Ramsay, because you're cooked. But don't just take it from me. Even Nintendo knew this nigga was sorry. This is the only pull-up in the game where not even five seconds after, they had to replace him with a real nigga. Yo, boss, yes. you told us we was in nature. Why the f is there a Corvette? What? <laughs> They're fucking voices, man. Oh, God. Coco! Oh, hey. Captain Falcon. Just killed her. Did you just kill all my niggas? <laughs> yeah. Out, bro. Yeah. I'm about to pan away from that genocide and we gonna see what <laughs> genocide. <laughs> oh god. Free my nigga DK on oh, here. What you doing, nigga? We gotta <laughs> go. Go <laughs> out. <laughs> 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 This that is exactly laugh, what I'm talking about with that smash sauce. You niggas sauce. should not be having Bowser think he's this cold. This and again, y'all was really in the comments of the last video protecting this bow-legged arcade <laughs> freak. When this nigga is the epitome oh, of garbage! Because not only did he make Fox and Diddy cop a plea, finesse King DDD's entire coop talking about some WESTSIDE! Bro! These niggas expect me to believe King DDD got licked by straight Goobas and Koopas? Ba ba! Hey, that nigga, I'm not buying it! And then you yep. telling me he's able to outrun the entire group like these? Boy, hit Mario with a pump fake. And 
it hits the cleanest escape I ever seen. I'm telling you right now, Bowser <laughs> should never be looking this clean. Oh, He's only cool in like what two games, and they keep giving him the coldest boss themes to ever yeah, touch yeah. gaming. Only for all of his bosses Game to be straight Nyquil. Like you're not gonna condition me with your brainwash. Your, your brain, brain, your brain doesn't it work. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's not happening. And this last cutscene really pissed me off because there's no way that this should ever. Oh happen. man, nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's crazy. I'm saying. And then Dixie said, me or bananas. I'm like, bitch, I'm picking bananas every time. Licks D yeah. off the map and look at him. <laughs> oh, nah. God. This is actually absurd. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> Man, why y'all don't go save this nigga real quick? I just want to take Falco yeah, pulls up and he finally puts this nigga to rest. Yeah. But like a Saturday morning cartoon villain, he escapes the scene on some blue school yeah, shit, bro. Yeah. I would keep ranting, but I just want this nigga off my side. <laughs> they reveal that Ganon's yeah, the one that pulls the strings, and that makes sense. I'm not believing for a second this nigga's moving this cold by his own doing. And then we get this. Alright, I'm up. Man, where you going? We gotta go see my nigga. He's this way. I don't care about your broke ass nigga fool. I'm on that big ball of business. Get your paper up. Boy, let me get your lame ass up and see my nigga. I'm gonna get your money. It's okay, it's probably not bad. So we get to Ash and Lucas, and they out there looking for Charizard and Ivy Zord. He the guy? Yeah, that's him. Them nigga posted his location on IG. We got him. But before they can enter the temple, we see the GOAT. Yep, Wario. Wario pulls up and that man Lucas is in fear. But since he's next to the better RPG protagonist, hey, he cannot RPG. be seen as a punk nigga. And I'ma say it again, hoes ass. But he tees up and he actually defeats Wario. And I was like, damn. That's crazy. I know his IG caption gonna be just like this. I was a wimpy kid before I touched that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bump got green. <laughs> Crash out. But as they're arriving at the temple, there's an op pulling up at full speed, ready to catch him lacking. But sadly, he was outside at the wrong time, my boy. These three really pulled up on this nigga, not even knowing who he is. Moving off straight ignorance, just asking for the fiend. Like, bro, I'm telling you right now, these are the coldest three niggas alive. And what do you think they did? Smoke that nigga! <laughs> and they had my nigga falling like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> I don't wanna play with you anymore. <laughs> and he immediately wakes up to fight Ash and Lucas. Going into back to back fights, this nigga's in hell. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is random right now. They about to start boxing, but like a bald nigga finally getting dreads, Lucas done finally got some aura. Look at him! I like that! That's what you call bars, nigga! And now I can actually co-sign this nigga. He looking clean. And this nigga after getting his ad will for 30 straight minutes was talking about some If I ain't win, we all lose. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And he flies into the sky ready to take out the whole team. And this is where Lucas really blew my mind. I'm not gonna lie, he hit that. He died. Yep. And once he knocked that arm off, I was like, I I I'm not gonna lie, you cold, Twitch! Someone get that boy a chain up! Now, do I take back all that I said? Hell no! no. <laughs> but he got hands now. I'm gonna applaud the effort. Good job. But they flying straight to the floor, about to get turned into Flash Stanley, only for the GOAT to pick him up. Man, this nigga moving like Chief Keith said, I ain't pick your weak ass up, nigga. Like, man, these three never disappoint. After they save him, look how they posted up, bro. Oh, my God. Alright, bro, my fault. But after all that, Meta Knight looks up and he sees his V going to straight war. And after seeing that, he's like, oh, nah, I gotta go pick these niggas up. And while he's jumping up the mountain, we see the ice climbers. And they see Meta Knight moving cold as hell, and they are real life tight. And this is why I hate you old niggas. Y'all can never let a young nigga have nothing. Damn. Always hating. We done with the 90s, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas fell off. Ooh. They beat Meta Knight to the top. Ooh. Look at him, so geek. Oh my that god, hurt. we didn't fall off. Man, What's shut up? up. <laughs> they make it to the top, and they see this nigga. Yep, look all yo. Oh my god, how do they make a nigga this cold, bruh? I ain't into Pokemon like that, but some of these niggas just got straight aura. Like these two right here, 
Don't miss. But he jumps down, no words, straight fade. And them niggas get to it. And peep the unks in the back. All of a sudden, they don't want no action. Y'all lame as hell, boy. But no matter who you pick, they like real recognize real. And you looking real familiar, my boy. And they dap each other up on some real nigga business. But they look up and they really see men in night ship. Wearing the Star Fox Cruiser as a chain. Mm -hmm. Like, is wearing the Ops V as a chain not crazy, nigga? I done never seen somebody move this diabolical before, bruh. But they crash the whip and Lucario and Meta Knight make it to the top. And peep the unks, bruh. We done with the Damn. But they make it onto this ship. And this is where we get this. Yep, Snake. We all know Metal Gear, one of the coldest games of all time. Hell yeah. I've been waiting so Damn, long for this moment. It's, it's about, about to that time. time. Yep. He gets a side question for a total of I got absolutely excited when they actually added Snake to Brawl. I got so excited, man. Two seconds before he gets caught like these. It's... Man, y'all know this nigga fraud. <laughs> but they team up, get to side question, and then make it to the princesses. And once again, these two get on blacked. Like, bro, why do shorty stay getting put on black, bro? Don't no, show no. Mario this. He gonna get racist. <laughs> but they smoke him, as expected, and we move on. Two of them, both bad, but we gonna love the blonde one. I bet. Both of y'all stay here. I'm getting rated for a two-man. Two-man? Girl, if it's friend bro, I can't. I'm not waiting for that. This is... This is... Yes. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go. <laughs> this that voice, voice is so cute. This is that freaking voice. And from this scene forward, we get exactly into where we started, but we gonna continue that in the next episode. Oh man, I really? Dang. Video, but I really underestimated how much of the game I have. 20 minutes concept. Next part dropping either May or June. And yes, he will be attending. I shall yep. see. Yep, Sonic. Alright. One of the best recasts I've seen from you, Zephyr. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait for part three. I can't wait for part three. I know it's going to be months for him to go ahead and do this, but I, this had me freaking crying, man. This had me crying. Man, shoot, I needed this, man. So, yeah, I finally got a chance to watch it, and, uh, yeah. Huh. Ready for that part three, Zephyr. So, come on. No rush. Make it make it as a banger, just like this one, the last one. So, yes. um, Yeah. Love this recap. Love this recap. So, Hot Squad. If you enjoyed my reaction to Zephyr's Part 2 recap of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, please hit up button, comment, share your thoughts. How old was you when you played Brawl? And um, how old was you when you owned the Wii in general? So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm definitely episode excited to see Part 3. And then, honestly, it makes me want to you know, buy a Nintendo Wii, honestly, and play Brawl for the hell of it. Play the story mode. Even though I played it multiple times. Actually, I played it, yeah, I played it good multiple times on um, growing up. When it first came out. So yeah, man. I absolutely loved it. So, Hot Squad. I have another Zephyr recap. And that is, this is Captain America Winter Soldier recap. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.